Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 77 of Lightroom Quick Tips. A couple videos ago, I demonstrated how I back up my images in Lightroom and how I back up my Lightroom catalog. And in that video, I showed that I use a couple third-party applications to back all that stuff up. What I failed to mention in the video, and what many of you probably already know, is that Lightroom will prompt you to back up the Lightroom catalog periodically. And in this video, we're going to talk about that method of backing up the Lightroom catalog. It might be good enough for most everyone to use that method. And I just want to go over and offer some tips on how you could probably make it a little better. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Lightroom catalog contains previews for the images, and it contains the actual edits for the images, and it may contain some other things that help Lightroom run more effectively and efficiently. And it should be backed up periodically. And if you go up, if you have a Mac, go up to the top Lightroom menu. If you have a PC, this will be under the Edit menu, and you want to go to Catalog Settings. And when you open that, under the General tab, towards the bottom, you'll see Backup Catalog. Now, right now, I have it set to Every Time Lightroom Exits. Usually, I have that set to Never because I use those other methods to back up my Lightroom Catalog. Now, if you prefer to do it this way, the main question I get is, how often should you back it up? Well, how often do you use Lightroom? If you're in Lightroom every day, maybe a couple times a day, then you should back up Lightroom every single day, the Lightroom catalog every single day. If, on the other hand, you're only in Lightroom once a week or so, then back it up every week. If you're only on there maybe once every few weeks, then back it up once a month. So it's really how often do you use Lightroom, and then you should just back it up. Now, one kind of to me kind of weird thing about this is Lightroom never deletes any old backups. So if you're backing up every day or light, every time Lightroom exits like I have it set now and you're on here a couple times a day, you're going to have several hundred Lightroom backups on your computer after a year or so. And they take up some space. So you should maintain them in some way, like delete the old ones. So to find them, what you want to do is still under this catalog dialog, go to the General tab, and right here where it's shown the location of the catalog, click Show. And when you do that, if you have a Mac, Mac Finder will open up. If you have a PC, Windows File Explorer will open up. And you could see that inside of the Lightroom Catalog folder is a folder that says Backups. Now, as I mentioned, I don't back up this way. So just yesterday, I turned this on, and you could see I have several backups, and I have a couple from today. So Lightroom just kept backing up. It didn't delete any of the old ones. And what most people do is they'll keep the last maybe two to four, and they'll come in here periodically and delete all the others. And it doesn't hurt anything to delete any of the old ones. And some people might want to delete them all but the last one. And why you might want to keep more than one is because just in case that one is corrupted somehow, you might want to keep an extra one around or an extra two around. So just come in here and periodically delete them. Now one thing is mine are relatively small because my Lightroom catalog is big. If your Lightroom catalog is more than four gigabytes in size, Lightroom will automatically zip the catalog for the backup, so it will make it considerably smaller. Each of my backups are around 125 megabytes or so. But if your Lightroom catalog is 3.9 gigabytes in size, it's just going to back it up as is. So this will end up taking up a lot of disk space, maybe. So you should come in here and back them up regularly. Or, or after you, you should back them up regularly, but you should come in here and delete the old ones regularly to maintain the disk space on your computer. Now, the other problem I have with the way Lightroom does these backups is the backup folder is right inside of the Lightroom catalog folder. To me, what good is that? If this hard drive crashed, I'd not only lose my Lightroom catalog, I'm going to lose all the backups too. So you really should back these up to a different location, preferably to an external hard drive. And it's not really intuitive how you would go about doing that. There's no button here to tell you to change where the Lightroom backup is. So what you want to do, for what I would do for you, if you want to do this, go to the backup catalog frequency and change it to every time Lightroom exits, at least temporarily change it to that. Then what you want to do is go to the 
and just close down Lightroom. So we're closing down Lightroom. Now you get this dialog box popping up. And again, we could change the frequency, the backup catalog every time Lightroom exits. But right here, the backup folder, right now it's where my um, catalog is. We want to change that. So we're going to click Choose. And as I suggested, you should put that on an external drive. Now I have a few external drives here. I'm going to put it to this one the Morganti drive and put it inside of a folder. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Lightroom Backups. So all my backups are going to be on this external drive in that folder. Click Choose. Now below that we're going to test the integrity before backing up. So if your Lightroom catalog is corrupted, it won't back it up. Why back up a corrupted catalog? So it's going to test the integrity first and then after it's done backing up it's just going to opt optimize the catalog. It's good to optimize your catalog periodically. It helps Lightroom run faster and more efficiently. So this will do it automatically and then we're going to click backup. Now it's going to tell me that my Lightroom catalog is larger than four gigabytes so it's warning me that it's going to zip it that I may need a third-party application to unzip it. Now if you have a Mac you know you don't need a third-party application and actually from Windows 7 on up, you don't need a 30 third party application either. Windows will unzip them fine. So we're just going to click continue and it's going to actually check the catalog integrity. Then it's going to zip up the file, write the file to the external drive. Then it's going to optimize my catalog and then it's going to close down Lightroom. And when it does, we're going to go over and we're going to look at that backup just real quick. And if your computer actually did crash and you have to restore this um, catalog, um, it's real easy to do. And I'm just going to mention how to do that. All right, now we close down. So we're going to go up to this external hard drive. And I have it under Lightroom Backups, which is right there. And there's the backup right there. And it is a zip file. There it is there. So it's zipped. I'm not going to bother unzipping it. But if your, let's say, hard drive went and you lost your Lightroom catalog and you need to restore the catalog, you would unzip this file and put those that folder, the, the Lightroom folder, wherever you want it now. Put it wherever you want. To open it now in Lightroom, there's a couple different ways to do it, but I think the easiest way, and I'm just going to go to my existing catalog, is just go, let's say I did unzip it to this Dropbox folder. There it is right there. Find the file that says .lrcat. It's usually going to be called Lightroom Catalog .lrcat. You might have named it something different, but it's usually called Lightroom Catalog. But it's definitely going to be .lrcat. Just double click on that. And it will actually then open the catalog in Lightroom. Now every time you open Lightroom now, it'll automatically open this catalog and you're good to go. So that's some tips on working with the built-in Lightroom catalog backup that's inside of Lightroom. I hope that taught you something that you didn't know. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.